Alright, in this video we're going to have a look at Spacey. More specifically, we're going to have a look at writing some code in order to do text categorization in Spacey 3. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to look at um, Spacey 2 and then say, well, how do we convert this code to Spacey 3? Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because most quick starts and tutorials online they don't actually look at it from a code perspective they look at the spacey cli so let's um, do this just by copying some code that we find online let's start with the spacey2 code just to see what it does so i'm going to paste it here and then let's have a go at uh, running it python uh, Text two. I haven't installed Spacey, so let's install Spacey the stand three. Spacey the stand three point zero zero. And I should actually make sure I have Spacey installed on my other environment too. So whilst that's going, let's have a look at and think about what we need to do for Spacey 3. So for Spacey 3, uh, we're going to need to, well firstly let's delete the import that is not needed. Uh, for Spacey 3, um, there are a few changes, namely that uh, the default classi classifier is actually a text categorization ensemble which uses attention as opposed to in Spacey 2, the default one is as a bag of words. Uh, the other difference is how they do the labels, and I'll touch on that in a second, and also how they do um, the NLP.update. It requires an example object rather than text annotation. We'll also look at that. But for now, let's just try to run the code. So you can see now it's running. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna let it run for a bit. Whereas in here, which uses Spacey 3, if I try to do the same thing, so let's run text cut, it will error. All right, and we can see a whole bunch of things that we should, we should fix. So let's go through that and try fixing it. And uh, what I'll do, because I think it's useful for people, is to rather than find code online that does this, let's try to read the documentation. The first thing is um, the first one is add pipe now takes a string name of a registered component, not a callable object. Expected string, but got a text categorizer object. So let's do that first. So all we need to do is we need to change this to add pipe text cap. Now I know beforehand if I go, well, let's have a look at the documentation. Text cut. Let's try to find it. Okay. Text cut. text cut and look at how it does it so the first thing they have is all right you need to add pipe text cut and then the config uh, we will touch on that later and I thought there was a Last. Hang on. Add pipe text cut process stock. Okay. All right. Well, let's just start with text cut. And you need to have equals text cut object, which we've done here. So category, category, add label. Now, the other thing that we need to do is we need to change how this label works. 
I'm just gonna say it beforehand. I couldn't really find it in the documentation, but what you what you need to do is change this to one hot encoded sort of thing. So um, let's see. Oh, I need to change this to cat three. All right, and add pipe now takes a string name, not a callable object. The string got this. That none. Where is that? That's line 17. Add pipe category. Right, I don't think you need this now, right? So we can actually delete that. And I'll talk about why. Alright. Update now uh, takes positional arguments. Um before I do that, let's I think for good measure, let's let's go and have a look at the config um, first. So to do that, let's have a look at a look at let's have a look at actual the source code. So. Give me one sec. So if I go on the text cat source code, okay, this is the source. You see that how they load the config, you can do it this way. So let's do that just to show you how it works. So let's just copy this bit. We want a no, I want a um, bag of bag of words for argument's sake. So I want a bag of words. And I want I don't even need to do that technically speaking, but um I'm just gonna do I'm gonna clean this up in one second. So we're gonna need to do this import to import the config and so let's go like that. config um, and we can skip this config right and then we can go text cut config goods config Now I think what's good practice is also to add last equals true because this is really the last bit of our pipeline. All right, so uh, let's have a look at here. If you see the, well, we need to go to add pipe, which I can't find. Oh, let's have a look at add pipe. Add pipe, yeah. Default behavior is last equals true, but let's let's be more explicit when we do that. So, okay, let's try running this again and see what error comes up. So, well, I haven't defined my config. Firstly, so let's do that. All right, update was called with no positional argument. This may be due to backwards compatibility or spacey three instead of text annotation. So to look at this we can actually have a look at uh, there should be like some spacey migration thing. It's new in 3.0 and I think migrating from spacey 2.x might help us. If I look at example whoops that's actually a really bad search now I'll just go all the way back up to the top migrating and let's look at there should be something here hopefully um, that tells us how to train here we go example from dick so we need to do this so we need to migrate from a simple 
training style. This is this is how we've done it. Let's have a look. But before I do that, as I said, we need to change this to one hot encoded. So I'm going to do this. Just, let's just brute force it. So cat one, cat one, cat one, zero, zero, and let's change all these to true. And then we need to add our labels, which is zero and one now. And then we need to um, change this to the example code. So let's have a look at how that that's done. Do it like this. Let's just copy and paste. Well, we, firstly, we need to do the import. text annotation when you do that so yep we need to do an import and that import would be spacey dot training example and then to finish off we can then change this to well it needs to be something like example Right. Well, let's do examples because we have a batch. So let's change this to a batch size of four, just just for our sanity. We want examples, so let's give it examples. And um, we need to create this these examples from a bunch of text. So doc annotation. Okay, well that's fine. Let's. Let's do that for doc annotation. Annotation in zip. Oh, what are we zipping? Zip text annotations, and I think this should, this should work. So, so uh, let's change this to make doc, right? So now we'll have um, the text and annotation, but it will just form a list of examples. So let's have a go. Hopefully this works. There we go. So now we have a spacey example that runs a bag of words. Now, if we didn't want that, we could just stick with the default one, which um, we would just exclude this, and then you would run the text ensemble, which will run uh, a fair bit slower, as you can see. Yeah, so that's really it, is our example of how you can convert some code from Spacey2 to Spacey3. And I hope you've learned something and enjoyed. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post my answer on Stack Overflow. That's all. Thank you.